Today, we're exploring a former large psychiatric hospital in Ontario, Canada. This institution was a provincially owned facility which had been used for the treatment of the mentally disturbed since its opening in December of 1894. This facility contains 28 separate buildings dispersed over a landscape of approximately 120 acres. Built in the late 1800s by the lowest bidder for a cost of $241,000, the hospital opened with a staff of 41 people. By 1972, the hospital had grown to be one of the region's largest employers with a staff of 840 people. As of July 2009, Patients were no longer admitted to this facility. It was 12 years earlier that a provincial health commission urged the closure of this facility, calling for it to be closed in 1999. Join me as I explore this large former psychiatric hospital. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad What is up, guys? Welcome back to another very special photography abandoned mental hospital adventure we got a lot to cover. It's a huge, huge building. We got two wings. We got a center structure. We got tunnels. We got a bowling alley. We have some obstacles we have to get through. So it's going to be a bit of a tough one, but it's going to be cool. So let's turn the camera around, guys, and go check it out. Okay, guys, we're starting here in the bowling alley. This is pretty cool. A lot of, uh, a lot of psychiatric hospitals in Ontario have... Um, a two-lane bowling alley in the basement. And this is one of them. Looks like there's another whole set of tunnels that go beside the tunnel. through there guys be right back that was not easy or graceful What's up guys?
here. That's a nice room. Wow. Okay, so we're basically doing all the tunnels first, guys. And I'm told that I can get up to the various buildings through the tunnels because on the main floor they've got a lot of the uh, walls blocked off and doors blocked off so I can't get in. So I have to rely on the tunnels to get myself around. So I'm just looking around right now. at the end. Yeah, there's the library. So from here, there's actually a tunnel right there that goes to other buildings, but they've got it bricked off, so you can't get through there. And this here, obviously, was once the library. Now it's just nothing. Yeah, so there's one more building right there. You can't get to it though, because the tunnels are all sealed off. There's enough staircase that goes up. These windows, eh? Wow. Okay, guys, this is... Oh. 
This is the main front entrance right here, guys. See, so this is the front door. We're right dead center right now. There's a look outside at the left wing. the right side so we're dead center right now this is a huge huge facility you've got some uh, floor plans and blueprints here upstairs but we're not going up there yet okay so that's where we came from the front door this will take us all the way to the left wing that will take us towards the rear which is where we're going and that's where we came from so now we're going to go back just see what's back here i believe there's some surgical rooms back One of the floors on these rear wings has uh, surgery, surgery rooms. Back here, I believe, is the uh, kitchen. This is huge. This is probably the cafeteria. This is a really nice feature. Both wings have this, these rounded rooms on every floor. Okay, so now we're uh, pretty much at the far left wing of the building, except for this one building here. So this building is accessible from the tunnels right there. But where I am now is I'm at the farthest end 
of the entire main structure of the uh, hospital. So I'm at as far to the left as I can go. So now I'm gonna go right to the middle and I'm gonna go up to the very top. I'm working my way up through the middle. All right, see you guys up there. Okay, let's head up here, guys. These rooms here, just these little small windows. This one's only got a small little tiny window. A lot of this place is the same, it's very repetitive, so I'm not going to film everything. There's that other, there's another one of these rooms here. The one on the top floor is the nicest. Nice orange room, eh? I'm hoping I can still get to the forensics ward. There are some jail cells in one of these buildings, but I have no idea which one it was in. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to find it. Okay, so here we are, guys. We are. Currently, uh, I think we're dead center. We're either here. We're right around here somewhere. Right in the middle. My throat's getting sore because somebody set off a fire extinguisher in here. So it's all in the air, so I'm breathing in fire extinguisher dust. Here's a really nice feature right here. This front room with these windows. So here we're dead center. You can see the flagpole. No, almost dead center. Second floor, dead center. This side is much worse. This is the right side of the building when you're standing on the front. This side is much worse off than the other side. Makes me think that they might have actually let this side go before they let the other side go. They've also begun quite a bit of work of uh, stripping this side as well. Look at this with these windows here. Wow. This room's amazing. And if you look 
out the window. I don't know what Centennial Hall is, but just past there where you see those cars, that's the active psychiatric hospital prison. It's like a psychiatric prison, I think. That's on the property here. I think this might have been the kids' ward. Here they've ripped off all the drywall, all the walls are gone. It's just exposed, uh, it's not even brick, whatever that stuff is. the building on the far right hand side that we can't get to it's blocked off by the tunnels right below us in the tunnel right down there is that library so to give you guys an idea of where we are we're on the second floor far right hand side right above the library where that would have been in the tunnels so now each wing only goes up to two floors but the center goes up one more so you see here can't go up any higher it's a green staircase though so now we're going to make our way back to the center then we're going to go up to the third floor in the middle for those that are following along Okay, here we go, guys. So we just came from that way. We've covered this whole floor. So we're still on the far right-hand side when you're facing the front. And now we're gonna go up to the top floor of the center structure. You can see lots of peeling paint. There's two rooms like this. This one has been stripped of its ceiling. But on the other side, it's fully intact and much nicer. So we'll see that when we get to the other side of this floor. Isn't that nice though? And then coming up here is one of those round circular rooms with the round windows. This one will be stripped, but it's still really cool. Ooh. 
There's so many dead birds in here. That's super nice with that window on there. A round window on the end. And then here's another big room. It's pretty cool with the exposed uh, beams. So I mentioned earlier that there was a room upstairs that had that surgical green, like this is where they per perhaps did surgery. So we've gone on up through here. And this is probably, yeah. There's an autoclave there to clean stuff. Storage in here for all the different things. I'm sterile linen. Yeah, this was definitely an operating room. So here's where the big light, big operating light would have been, right there. And you would have had your bed. There's a spot to see, uh, X-rays. So yeah, this is definitely a surgical room right here. This is probably another one. Yeah, this is another surgery room right here. Somebody set off a freaking fire hydrant, not a fire hydrant. The floor is just covered in uh, dust from a fire extinguisher. And then here, don't know what this one would have been, but it's still, this is all surgical right here. Once again, we're dead center. The very front of the building, walking right towards the middle. office to have if you worked here. Nothing there. Actually, I'll show you here. So we're dead center now. So basically we're going to walk right across there 
as far as we can get. And then there is one more place we can see that takes a spiral staircase up to the very top, which is pretty cool. And then I gotta see if I can find the, uh, my way into the forensics ward, uh, the forensics ward where the jail cells are. It's up here. I didn't think it went any higher. I was in here last time. Floor round window. All right, so there is a little bit. If you see right there, there is also a, a window straight ahead up on this level. So we do have a couple other places to see still. Okay, there's not going to be anything interesting up here, but we'll go check it out anyways. furnace room sort of thing that goes up to the roof I'm not gonna open that and then a couple phones up there and then some uh, fans so yeah there you go cobwebs One more cool room to go. Here we go. So you guys remember this room on the other wing that the ceiling had been ripped out, the drywall was ripped out. But here it's all intact, so it's really cool. Okay guys, so we're up in the maintenance room now, which is in the middle. 
and towards the back and there's this awesome spiral staircase that takes you up and then up there there's just more like stuff there's really nothing interesting up there but if you come back here this is pretty cool back here because right here is a big spiral staircase that you can climb up, down and up from the floor below, but I also managed to find how to get to this room from the top floor so I don't have to take the spiral stairs. So it's pretty cool. Lots of old brick. This used to be a window right here, you can tell. And back here. This used to be a window here too. That they bricked over for some reason. This is the elevator contraption. And then over here, it's a big blueprint, but you can barely see it of the reflecting there's also a, what looks like to be a blueprint of the building but it, it's all faded so you can't even see it you can't see me though what's up guys so anyways yeah the spiral staircase here is pretty awesome okay guys we're almost done we finally made it to the forensics wing where they have prison cells for those very special high risk inmates. Here you go. Cell number one, which you have a cell with bars, a door with bars, and then you have a thick wooden door with windows. Here's where your guards would hang out, keep a watch. And here you've got two cells side by side. And you've got a toilet right there on the floor and a window. And then you've got a window that looks out here. And these two could look at each other if they wanted to. See, there you go. That's the other cell. And then you head down here and there's even more. Here's another guard booth right here. So the guards can just watch. I'm sure they had monitors in here at some point. I think 
the next floor down has more cells. All right, I'm gonna take some pictures up here and then we'll go down to the next floor and I'll show you what else there is. Okay guys, we are on the second floor. We're almost done. Second floor, then we got the first floor and then we're gonna get out of here. Here's another cell. But this one doesn't have bars though. And then down here, you've got uh, Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny. There's your uh, bucket cleaners for, what do you call those things? Bed pants, bed pan cleaner, that's right. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, let's head down to the first floor, see what's going on down there, and then we're out of here. Okay, so I just realized that we already did the main floor, so we're back down to the basement now. We started. There we go. Back in the bowling alley. Okay guys, that's a wrap on this one. I hope I didn't make this video too long. I didn't want to make it a long video, but it's a huge place. So in a place like this, you kind of can't help but make a longer video. So I hope you guys have stuck around and been with me for the whole video. I know some of you guys probably dropped off, but I hope most of you guys are still here with me. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have liked this big, old, abandoned psychiatric hospital. So that's it. Link down below to check out my photos from this visit and my first visit. And that's it. Thanks a lot guys. You guys know what to do. Like comment, share, and if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. Thanks guys. See you next time. Peace.